So in this example, we are told uh, that if f of x has period p, um, we have to show that f of ax has period p over a, where a is not equal to 0. Then the second one, um, we have to show that uh, f of x over b has period bp, um, where b is not equal to 0. And not just showing, uh, we can actually also uh, add some examples to try to make sense out of what we are going to do here. Okay, so for the first one, okay, so for the first one, um, so say, uh, say g of x, for example, say g of x is equals to f of ax, okay, so say g of x is equals to f of ax so this tells me that if I come and say g of x plus uh, some p over p over a okay this is equals to uh, this is equals to f of uh, I'm going to say open bracket so it simply means everything here that we have okay is going to represent this x that I have here okay it's going to represent that x that you have here so you're going to have your a outside uh, let me actually use different brackets you're going to have your a here which is this a then you open these brackets then this x here is going to be represented by this here okay so that is going to be your x plus p over uh, p over a like that then you observe to say this is equals to f of um, f of if you expand what is inside that's going to be f of ax plus plus p okay so one thing that you observe here is actually very interesting is that um, this is actually equals to f of ax why am i saying so remember if you're given f of x for example you can go ahead and say in terms of a period you can say x plus p which is the same as f of f of x itself so in this case i have my f of ax which is what i had here initially okay so even if i were to add the period p okay i'm still going to get my f of ax there like that okay so now this tells me to say this is actually equals to g of x okay so now having understood this how and where is this helpful uh, in terms of answering uh, this question that we are looking for here how is this one going to help me okay so because i have to show that this f of ax has a period p over a that's what i have to show but look at what we have done here and understood okay so uh, for this one um, if we say uh, f of x is a periodic function okay if you have f of x being a periodic function with a period p okay if f of x has a period p uh, then f of f of ax okay is a periodic function with with a period of what p over uh, p over a this is something that i actually talked about it's more like i jump this part but I, of course I didn't explain that was when I was talking about the uh, how to find the fundamental period of a, uh, of a of a trigonometric function you can actually you can actually check the link of that video in the description uh, we talked about a situation where I'm actually using this as an example let's say you have sine uh, sine x you know that the period for sine x is 2 pi okay it's 2 pi which we can just name as what name as p so it simply means if you have sine ax for example there is a coefficient that is not a one okay for x meaning the period is just going to be equals to uh, 2 pi divided by what divided by a and this is the exact thing that we are talking about here it's about you considering the coefficient of x in terms of the function that you have that is exactly what we are talking about here and that is basically the example so we're just trying to show through this method uh, that if you have a function okay this uh, initially you had your f of x which have a which has a period of p okay so for it to make sense 
okay for ax to make sense we have to divide period p that we had initially by what by the coefficient of x okay so this is what you now the question is that how do i how do you write the answer is everything's just here you can write that write this conclude with that you are done you can actually even use that as an example there you go okay so let's look at the second one so for the second one it's a bit similar to what we have just done here okay that is number two so uh, for the second one we are going to say um, say for example g of x is equals to say it's equals to x over x over b remember i had to put the coefficient uh more like it was it was just somewhere here it's more like it's a one but it's not really one it's, we represent it using a but in this case you are dividing uh it's like the coefficient is a is a fraction kind of thing okay so we are looking at different scenarios here because we are going to be encountering these when we are solving uh, some certain questions okay so this tells us that just the same similar steps just like i did this tells us to say if you have uh, g of x plus uh, b multiplied by p okay this is going to be equals to um, f and once again the one over one over b which is our coefficient is going to be outside then this x that's going to be x plus b by p like that which is going to be equals to f of x over b plus p like that and once again this is still equals to f of x over b which is equals to g of x okay so now this tells us to say if f of x is a periodic function with a period with period p then f of x over b okay is a is um is periodic with period bp which is this one that we are given here and we have shown you can actually look at um, uh, one of the you can actually make up the, an example for yourself which is something as simple as let's say sign instead of sign x you can put x over k okay you can actually make sense of everything that i've done here and that's basically how we do this thank you very much for watching